An 11 year old boy can hear for the first time in his life thanks to a breakthrough gene therapy treatment that his surgeon says could have profound implications for people with hearing loss in the future. Following the October surgery, Assam Dam now has only mild to moderate hearing impairment. Dr. John Jermiller of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia said on Wednesday. The idea here is to um, re replace a defective gene that um, a child is born with. Um, and there are estimated to be over 150 genes that cause hearing loss at birth. Um, and this is just the first one that we've been able to treat. Um, the idea is to um, really restore that gene to the inner ear by literally injecting it into the inner ear. Um, and it's a surgical, uh, surgical procedure to do that. Um, but it's exciting because if we can get the gene back in and get it functioning, it should restore hearing. And we now have the, you know, the, the technology uh, in, in terms of gene therapy um, agents to be able to do this in the ear. Dan, who is from Morocco but lives in Barcelona, Spain, traveled with his family to Philadelphia in September to undergo the life-changing experimental treatment. He had no hearing whatsoever prior to this his entire life, Jermiller, director of clinical search, said. But now Assam can hear people's voices. He had no hearing whatsoever prior to this his entire life. He's 11 years old now um, and, and communicates with sign language. Um, but now he can hear at a level that we, we say is mild to moderate hearing loss, which is which is quite good. It's actually remarkably good for someone that, because it's the first patient treated in this country with this. So um, he can now hear sounds in the environment. Even when I do this, I did this to him today when I saw him, he can hear that. It's a very soft sound. He can hear those things. He can hear people's voices. He can hear cars coming. He, he likes all sound. He's very, very much pleased with it. Um, and is, it's just new to him. He, he was quite, he was actually a little scared when I first got his hearing back because he, uh, he, he wasn't sure what all this new information was all of a sudden. So, but it's exciting. He, he's loving it. He was born completely deaf. He never hadn't heard a sound his entire life until this treatment. Um, and, um, and we, uh, fortunately this, this gene is, um, is one that, um, we can, uh, that we can restore, uh, with our gene therapy and also the cells it needs to get into to do the therapy are still there. Like they're still healthy. So his ear is otherwise healthy, except for this very one gene. And, and then, so that, so that was a, um, a, a logical choice to pick this gene to treat first. Assam was born with autopharlene gene mediated hearing loss according to a press release put out by CHOP and the new treatment involves inserting properly functioning out of genes into the inner ear. His father told me that um, he's most interested because he'll because his son now will be able to tell when someone is talking even if he doesn't understand all their words he'll be able to know when someone's speaking to him even if it's like behind him, for example. And, and, um, and he also pointed out the safety, even before we mentioned it, he pointed out the safety in, um, uh, benefit. Um, he'll know if, some, if a car is coming at him on the street, things like that. He's very happy uh, with that, uh, that improvement. And this is quite rare, this gene. And right now there's no thera gene therapy for any of the other genes at this time, but the, the developers, the researchers that develop this are feverishly working toward some of the other genes that, um, and in fact, eventually many of them, um, the, they're targeting some of the genes that are more common. And we, we want to emphasize to also to, to everyone out there who may be interested in doing this, if they have hearing loss, so this is, um, this is not, um, it's, it's not likely you have this gene and it's not for every gene. It's just this one gene that we can treat now on this clinical trial. And, um, but, but stay tuned for more uh, in the next five to 10 years. 
Jermiller hopes that the success of the clinical trial, which was sponsored by Alilili subsidiary, will lead to similar breakthroughs in the future for the other more common genetic mutations that cause hearing loss. Yes, if you heard that, tell me yes. That would be pretty cool.